today's video, we're going to take a look at Blitzway's newly released Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure 2-Pack. Let's take a look. Alright, so I'm going to take a minute to talk about the packaging. Um, it was packaged in a typical brown shipper box, but it had nice um, corner protectors on it. I was very impressed by that, and uh, as you can see here, now it was a very nice step to keep the box in good condition. That said, the box is um, not a, like a shoe box like the Hot Toys figures. It has flaps on the end with the plastic trays on the inside. And the box art is really nice. It has pictures of the figures and um, has a glossy finish on the lettering and mat everywhere else. Got your instructions and a sign that says please or quiet please wild stallions recording. This is a multi-layered box. On the bottom we've got the display stands and a backpack. and a Wild Stallions banner, which is pretty cool. Really nice fabric. The print is really nice as well. Now the stands themselves have a generic Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure logo, but nothing designating which one is for Bill and which one is for Ted. And then the box, the tray with the figures. Now it is taped down on four corners. And the flaps on the box were taped as well. Um, I did cut them prior to the video. Um, so that's something to think about. It's not quite as collector friendly. Okay, you got your guitars. No name brand logos on it. I'm sure they did not want to pay for that. It does have strings. That is not movable. I do not like the seam line that goes down the guitars. Um, you would think they would have been able to do a solid body on that and not have the seam. Strings are off the frets a little bit, but looks like they'll go back into place pretty easy. And the fender, again, without the logo. But a lot of detail in it. Still has the seam line that I'm not fond of, but uh, definitely a lot of detail. Volume and tone knobs don't move. Pickup selector switch doesn't move. It's nice though. Got a Wild Stallion CD case. Got a kind of a holographic print on it and it does open. And we've got the Wild Stallion CD. Which has a looks like a chrome sticker finish on the back side of the logoed piece here. And it fits in the case. Got extra hands for Bill and Ted. Here you've got one for a cord. Fist. Holding a pick. And fingers crossed. Now it looks like they both have the same hands. Bill has a silver pick 
and Ted has a dark one. Now here we have, well it didn't come with a phone booth, it does come with a pay phone. Nothing seems to move on it. Cord is nice and it hangs up. Now I'm betting my children will have no idea what this is. I'm looking at 20 cents. Yep, relic of a bygone era. And the figures. They are wrapped in individual bags, has the logo on it and has packs of silica gel. Here we have Bill. Costuming seems to be really nice. And here we have Ted. Again, nice costume. All right, so we got everything set up here. One thing I did not know when I got this was that it had a LED feature. If you remove the back here, which is held on by a magnet, there's some batteries inside that you need to pull out a little plastic strip. And then you press the front here and the bottom lights light up like it does in the phone booth. It would have been nice to have the um, full-size phone booth, but I imagine the cost on that would have skyrocketed a little. So hopefully they offer it as an accessory in the future. Okay, let's take a look at Bill. The head sculpt is really nice. Some people have complained about the complexion being a little dark, um, but in person it doesn't seem to bother me that bad. Clothing is nice, a nice um, six scale replica of the shirt he was wearing, the print that's on it. It is held on with a snap in the front. And looks like you might need to remove the stock hands to get it off. Which they are a little tight, but doesn't seem to be worrisome on breaking. The peg is considerably thicker than the Hot Toys. Oh, he's got some bracelets here. And I don't wanna lose. So let's see. on and that goes in really easy I definitely uh, didn't feel any danger of that breaking putting it back on so you got his half shirt here with the stallion on the back There's no rip on it that they show in the promo images and on the box, but it's still, it's nice. Um, jeans have a question mark printed on them. It's got his boxers showing, rolled up, um, pants leg, and the converse. Okay, the arms on both of these figures don't have a visible seam. They are covered in rubber. It's very soft and pliable and seems to hold a pose rather well. So, you got your signature kind of look there. I'm not sure what the long-term effects of leaving it in a pose like that would be. Um, I don't, this is my first experience with Blitzway, so I'm really not sure. 
Okay, now Ted. The complaint people had with Ted when the first images of this, um, the final product was released, was the likeness. And I can say that it's a lot better in person than the pictures that I saw. I'm pretty happy with it. Again, you got his jacket. It's got wild stallions down the sleeve. His vest. And a wild stallions shirt, which I don't believe that's what he was wearing in the movie. I think it was Wham, but I could be wrong. And that's, again, something they probably didn't want to pay licensing rights for. You got the Save the Humans bumper sticker on his pant leg and the smiley face. And like Bill, he's got the muscular arms with the rubber sleeves on them. All right, so we've got the jackets wrapped around their waists. The um, fabric is soft enough that it looks pretty good doing it. It's kind of like a signature look for them. The articulation is, you know, what you expect from most six scale figure companies these days. The joints are nice and tight and seems to be able to hold poses and has very good balance. The ab section is unhindered, which is nice. And you can get some good poses and they stand up pretty good. Guitars, remove the strap button. And you wrap it around. Strings are very small, and as you can see, will bend easy. That's a hell of a note bend right there. So I am a tiny bit worried um, how they will hold up over time, but as of now, they're doing pretty good. All right, so taking a look at the Craftsmanship, um, I, as I said before, it's my first Blitzway and um, I'm pretty happy with them. I know a lot of people have been complaining about the likeness of Ted, um, but it's just, it's one you gotta see in person. I'm definitely not disappointed with it. Paint looks really good. Um, maybe not quite on the level as Hot Toys, but it, it looks better than some of the other six scale companies that are out there. Clothing is fantastic. I really like how they did the shoes with the socks kind of inside the, the hard plastic shoe. But, yeah, it, it's not bad. Um, the likeness, I, I don't see why people have been complaining as much. I'm pretty happy with it. Definitely is one that uh, looks better in person, much like Qui-Gon Jinn, where I know a lot of people said the details on Qui-Gon were soft, but once he started getting a mass release, you know, people's opinion changed a little on that. Um, I, and I think the same thing's going to happen here. Ted looks great. Bill, nobody's been complaining about Bill except for maybe his complexion, but in hand, they look fantastic. Um, the set retails for about $400, and, you know, it's two figures, so... Um, it's a little cheaper than, you know, what you're paying for Hot Toys. And the value's there. It's definitely, um, they're nice figures. I'm very happy with the set. And the price is pretty good, too. All right, thanks for watching. Please comment, like, and subscribe. And uh, we'll see you next time.